Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakach Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful little Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations. But your father, C, line of your lineage, goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American. One of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. A hey, Shalom. It's your brother, Halakia, from the GMS Denver camp, coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh with another lesson. And we're going to start here in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2. It says, What? And Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may that he may run that read of it. And that's what's been done for us, man. Our forefathers have had these visions scribed, you see, and recorded for us here in these last days so we can run and, and give the vision to the world, man. To let the world know what is about to be done or what's being done on this earth. According to the will of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Right? Verse 3 says, What? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Do you see? You see that? And and the vision is speaking, man. Everything that the Most High said will come to pass, we see it being rolled out right before our eyes, man. You see? Everything. Now, this video is going to be based upon a topic that uh, Great Millstone and our affiliate uh, uh, brothers go into a lot, which is what? The MOTB. So, I have right here from OAN, One America News, right? It says, what? Thousands express interest in volunteering to receive Musk's Neuralink microchip. You see that? This is prophecy coming to pass, man. They're about to start doing what? Test runs on humans so they can roll this thing out and make it mandatory. Not only this Neuralink, but also the RFID CHIP, which is the MOTB. You see? This is all laid out in prophecy, man. Everything is coming to pass right on time according to what the Most I said would be happening here in these last days, man. And he set up his prophets to reveal these things unto you. Okay, so yeah, man, everything that the Most High said is coming to pass right on time, right? So now let's read a little bit of this article and get call like a bunch of and let's get uh let's get the prophecy after that, man. It says what? Matter of fact, no, no, no. Let's let's do this. It says what? Thousands of people. And this came out Tuesday, so yesterday, right? says thousands of people are now volunteering to have a piece of their skull removed in order to receive Elon Musk's Neuralink microchip brain implant. Do you see how crazy this fucking sounds, man? Having a piece of your skull removed to have a uh, an implant inserted into it? Come on, man. It says, well, on Monday, Bloomberg reported that thousands of people were eager to, eager to volunteer for the FDA-approved brain implant for for a Neuralink study. And, and the FDA has approved this, man. The FDA has approved this procedure to take place to, to, to be put into humans, man. Why do you think that's happening? That's happening because this is what the elite want, man. This is what they're pushing for. And like I said, it's not only this this Neuralink, the RFID, the RFID CHIP is, gonna, is, is coming as well, man. You're going to st start to see more and more articles, law laws and legislations being pushed forth to, to put this in front and, and to put this in front of the people. You're going to start to see, see more of your celebrities talk about getting the uh, procedures done and, and using these devices to what? To get the people warmed up to the idea of having this put into them, man. This is where this thing is going. It says what? Well, Neuralink, the Musk founded company, is reportedly working to develop a brain computer interface that can collect and analyze brain signals. Musk also stated that the company would create a comprehensive brain computer to assist humans in keeping up with artificial, artificial intelligence. 
In May, Neuralink received approval from the United States Food and Drug Administration for its first human clinical trial, which was a significant step after previous delays and setbacks. At the time, Neuralink described the FDA approval as an important first step that will one day allow our technology to help many people. And this is where, they, this is where they're going, and that's why it's been uh, approved by the FDA. <laughs> so like it, so like it. This is why it's been approved by the FDA, man. So it says what? Neuralink announced in a statement in September that they were seeking patients who had who have uh, quadriplegia as a result of a vertical spine cord injury or amyotrophic uh, lateral sclerosis, ALS. It says, well, according to the the study brochure, completion would take roughly six years. Patients will have nine at-home and in-person visits during the first 18 months, followed by 20 follow-up visits spaced over the next five years as well as twice weekly research sessions for the for the rest of the study. So th- this is what they're coming with, man. <laughs> and the thing you got to know and understand, man, this this shit has already been uh finalized. They have the final product, but they they're doing something which is called gradualism. You see they're gradually pushing the, uh, to the people and, and putting the, and in front of the people, but this is something that's already been completed. You see they have to go through these steps to act like they've they're testing it out, but it's already done, man. And don't be surprised when you, if you see some some uh, orchestrated event take place where this thing has to be uh, sped through the, uh, the the trial process to, to be made mandatory, you see? But this is where it's going. And it's all on time or all in line with prophecy, man. So let's go here to show you what where it's going. Matter of fact, because they're basically trying to play the Most High, talking about heal, healing, healing ailments that the Most High gave certain people, like uh, quadru, quadriplegia or whatever it was called, or uh, ALS. Those are judgments from the Most High, man. But you have Esau saying that he can heal these things by putting this device in your body. You see, by means. So this is revel. Matter of fact, let's go to the chapter. This is Revelation thirteen and fourteen. It says what? And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. And this is what you see happening. He's going to use this device to 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 uh, so called cure these different ailments that the Most High has given these people in the form of a judgment. You see, and they're going to deem it as what miracles. We, we cured this man or this woman of quadriplegia, man. He can use his limbs now. He can walk on his own now with with a, with this uh, Neuralink installed into his body. Look what we've done. He's been healed. It's a miracle. This is what they're trying to do. They're trying to play the most high, man. It says what? Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they shall make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. So what they're, what you're seeing is they're they're basically the revival of the Roman Empire in the Roman way, you see. This is what you see going on in the earth, man. And in this this the revival of the Roman Empire, you have Esau trying to play God and work miracles. You see, but this man is no God. You see that? Now verse 15 says what? And he had. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, which you see living and breathing right before you now. Every aspect of Rome is, is back here in the earth, revived through Babylon and Great America, NATO and the EU. The image of the beast lives, man. <laughs> it says what? That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So if you don't, if you don't want to go along with the this this wicked ass way that you that you uh that we see being propagated right before us, man, it's gonna come down that they it's gonna come down to it that they're gonna put you to death, man. This is where everything is going. You see, it's, it's gonna be a, a great time of tribulation on the earth. You see, with a lot of people being put to death out here. For not wanting to be a part of this new world order that they're pushing for. 
this is where he's going to take it, man. And why is that? It tells us in Revelation 3, uh, 12 and uh, 12, it says what? Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So you're going to stay. So as we get closer to the end, you're going to see this man uh, speed up this process of rolling these devices out. You're going to, you're going to see them speed up the process of, of, of pushing forth more wicked laws and legislations to, to mandate these things and force them upon the people. Because he knows it, he, because he knows he has but a short time, he's going to come down with great wrath, man. Very harsh and draconian measures are coming. Because he's trying, he's trying to put this device in as many people as he possibly can before his time is up. And and the main targets that he's gonna, he, he, I mean, yeah, and the main people that he's gonna target is who? You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He wants to put this device in you above all other people because he knows that if he can get this device into in, into uh, into our people, that severs our ties or our connection with our power Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shah. Watch, just just watch, man. And and this goes right into the time of Jacob's trouble. You see, a, a time of great tribulation for our people, the, a time that that uh. A lot of these false leaders are out here trying to uh, sidestep, man. But you can't. This, this is coming. This is coming. And we see it. You think it's a fucking coincidence that the FDA has approved this, man? And if they haven't already, they're going to approve that the MOTB is okay to put up in, uh, into you. Because this was always the end goal for the uh, for the elite of Esau Edom, man, the top international banking families. He wants to he wants to track and trace every living being on this earth, especially you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So let's go back. It says what? Revelation thirteen and fifteen, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And this is where this is where this man is going to take it. If you don't want to get down with this new world order, this wicked ass way of lifestyle that he's uplifting and propagating and all throughout the earth. They're going to put you to death, man. This is what it's going to come down to. Verse 16 says what? And he calls of all both small and great, rich and poor. Free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. This thing is going to be made mandatory, you see, and pushed upon the entire planet Earth. Everyone. He's going to force it upon everyone, man. No matter what your social... Uh, uh, don't let it be... I'm sorry. It's like you. It doesn't matter your, 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 your social status. He don't give a damn, man. And this is why you're going to see a lot of celebrities be pushed to the forefront and, and promoting this thing, man. You're going to see a lot of these streamers and TikTokers pushing forth this thing upon the, upon the younger generation. Just watch. You see, and what is that going to be called when, when he does that, when he, makes this, when, when he makes that thing mandatory? It's going to be called the hour of temptation, man. As we read about in Revelation 3 and 10, it says what? Because I has kept the word of my patience, which is his faith and his belief that we have in our Lord Yahweh Shai doing this work, pushing forth these videos, giving the true understanding of the Bible unto the entire planet Earth and, let, and letting them know what the will of the Almighty is, man. You see? This is the word of, of Yahweh Shai's patience, you see? It says, well, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon this earth, uh, dwell upon the earth, and that's was that's when what, when this RFID, CHIP, and this neural link is made mandatory for you to have to operate in society. This is where it's going. This is where it's going, and this is why the the, the prophets have been harp, uh, harping upon this so hard and heavy, man. You see. You see? 
This is why we're constantly going into this, to give you the warning. This is what the prophets are supposed to do. As the watchman, we're blowing the trumpet to give you warning and letting you know what what is uh, uh, coming, man. This thing, hey, if you want to continue on to have a job, having a place to stay, having a vehicle to drive, having access to resources, you see, and sustenance, you are going to have to get this device put into, into you in some shape, form, or fashion. Your entire livelihood is going to be taken away from you if you don't go along with what the elite are telling you to do. This is where they're taking it. And we're letting you know before it comes, right? Now we go back to Revelation 13 and 16. It says what? And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. The mark in your hand, whether it be your left hand or your right hand, is the RFID CHIP. The mark in your forehead is what we were reading in our article, man. That Neuralink, that's a form of the MOTB. For those people who may have illness, man, who, who may have a, a major paralysis in limbs or, or what have you. Major spinal cord injuries. That's what they're going to give them. And if you don't get it, what does it say? Verse 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. This is the hour of temptation. That if you don't get this device put up into your body, and whether whatever form you get it, you're not going to be able to oper operate, move, or maneuver in society as you're doing now. This whole uh, system, this you see how society is being ran, is going to be transitioned over to be powered and fueled by this MOTB. No more hey, c cash is going to be phased out. Everything is going to be digital. This is why you hear so much talk about CBDCs, man. Everything is being rolled out right on time according to biblical prophecy. And, and, and the men of Great Millstone and the brothers who preach the same doctrine as Great Millstone, we've been telling you this over and over and over and over again, man. Constantly harping on the same things, giving you the heads up, giving you the warning as we've been commanded to do. But this is where this man is taking it, right? Now it says what? Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. You see, this is the number of a man. It's talking about the elite of Esau Edom, the elite international banking families, man. Those who control the planet Earth. They want to they want to tag and trace every single living being on this planet Earth, beginning with you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This is their plan. And you might say that's far-fetched, that's crazy, but well, this is what these motherfuckers are trying to do. This is what we see being we see being rolled out right before our eyes. It's already got the FDA's approval. And guess who guess who approved it? Gave uh, the approval to the FDA to approve it. The elite did, man. Because this is their end goal. End goal. Not gold. Goal. <laughs> you see? <laughs> You've been warned, man. Because who, who's making more videos on what the MOTB is uh, than Great Millstone, man? You've been warned over and over and over again. Ain't going to be no excuse. Now, we're letting you know. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that if you go and get this device put up into your body, there's a great judgment coming for you. Like I said, because you've been warned. You've been warned. And a lot of you are taking it for a joke. You see, you're mocking us because we're going into these scriptures constantly bringing these, bringing these things out and, 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 and giving you warning as we've been commanded to do. A lot of you are going to be taken when this device comes, man. A lot of you are following false leaders who are who are operating and moving in a great area. They're not fully condemning what Esau is pushing for. They get that they, they like I say operating in the great great area, giving you leeway to to end up or eventually end up taking this thing because they haven't condemned this device. They haven't took a, a firm stance on what the MOTB is, man. All they can tell you is, oh, it ain't the, it ain't the, it ain't the microchip. That's all they're gonna tell you. But what is it then? Because the only thing that we see being rolled out is what 
we have been saying it is through the Holy Spirit, man, beginning with the apostle, the elder apostle Tar. And the apostles under him on down, man. It's only it's only what GMS has said it is, man. So you've been warned. Now it goes on to say, Revelation, now this is the judgment written for any of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who go and get this device put up into you in whatever form you get it. Revelation 14 and 9, it says what? And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast, which is the system, you see, Babylon, NATO, and EU make up the beast. Says what? Which, which is what? <laughs> which is uh, the revival of the Roman Empire. It says what? And his image, which is his wicked way of life. The wicked doctrines and philosophies that they push forth. Hey, just just look into the earth and see what they're doing. You just had. Uh, I was watching some on Instagram, man, where this woman was going in. On about how weak and and, and and feminized these men have become, and that's what the that's what the uh, leader pushing onto the people. She was talking about how she's so he, how she's so tired of it because it was Lil Nas X and some other nigga, and Lil Nas Lil Nas X had a had a fucking dress on, which is which is completely off. But that's what's propagated and uplifted here in this wicked ass system, man. That's a part of his image. The rainbow flaggers, man. The false doctrines, the worshiping of idols. All the adultery that's promoted here in this place. That's a part of his image. It says what? And receive his mark in his forehead, neural link, or in his hand, RFID, CHIP. You see, so if you, if you, and, and the thing is, a lot of you already feel that first test that the most i rolled out in the form of that juice man you were so afraid to lose your livelihood to lose your job you went and rolled your sleeve the sleeve up and got that that stuff put up in you well all you had to do was have faith in the most i would have provided man but the reason you're moving in that spirit is because you haven't you haven't been prepared for the battle by your leaders and they led you astray and a lot of people lost their lives behind it, man. And the same thing is going to happen here when this thing is made mandatory. A lot of people are going to uh, be sealed unto death because they followed false leaders, man. A lot of you are going to... Uh, you see? Just like your leaders, your false leaders told you to go get that juice put up in you, they're going to tell you the same thing about getting this damn, this MOTB put up in you, man. Just watch. Verse 10 says what? So if you so if you worship the beast and his image and receive his mark on his forehead, I'm just saying, what's going to happen? Verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So if you get this device put up in you because you're trying to continue your miserable existence here in, in, in America up under Esau, you're going to be destroyed with thermonuclear fire, man. When those missiles are shot off in the midst of World War III, with the majority of those missiles, uh, uh, final destination being here in the land of America, you're going to be left here to be melted if you get this device put up in your body, man. You have been warned. Hey, getting that device, that shit seals your fate. You get that device, it's over for you. Ain't no repenting from it. You got leaders talking about what if I get it and take it out at the last minute? What do you mean? You already bent you already bend the knee. You already consented. Unto the enemy, man. Ain't no repenting from this. You get it, you're done. That's it. Verse 11 says what? And the smoke of their torment is sent up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast. Esau's wicked ass power structure. And his image, the wicked ass uh, uh, lifestyle that they promote and push forth. And whosoever receiveth the mark of his name, which is the uh, uh, the Neuralink or the RFID CHIP. You're going to be tormented with fire and brimstone, man, because you, 
You refuse to take a stand. You bow the knee to the enemy, bow the knee to all you. you. You're thinking that this is going to cause you to, to uh, continue on here. And it, it, just, it just shows a lack of faith. Okay, what, did the, what did the most I tell you? Those that can send unto him shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under feet or foot. You're going, to be, you're going to be destroyed for trusting in your enemy, man. You see? This is why we've been pushing this so hard and heavy here at Great Millstone, beginning with our apostles and elders, man. Because this is daily serious. If you get this device put up in your body, whether that be the Neuralink or the RFID CHIP, you, you, you are sealed to be uh, uh, burned in that lake of fire, which is, the, which is the destruction of America. You see, but for the brothers who are going to stand firm until the end, man, what does it say? Revelation, uh, was that six, if I'm mistaken? No. I think I'm getting it backwards. Not slipping. Can't remember where it is. I know it's a revelation. I know I ain't tripping. Twenty and four. Good lord. There it is. <laughs> So this is Revelation 20 and 4. Right? Now these these are the these are gonna be the faithful brothers, man, because some of us, including myself, we might have to go up under that guillotine, uh, you, you know, and be martyrs for this truth. To be martyrs for the most high, for Yahweh Shah's sake. That's a possibility. Because the elect is 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 programmed in the elect, man. And Lord willing we be a part of that number, not to go. Along with, uh, th with this bullshit that Esau is pushing forth, the elect is not going that way, man. The elect is gonna is, is gonna follow Yahweh Shah no matter what. So this is Revelation twenty and four. It says, "And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah. You hear that? And for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast." Neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Mashiach a thousand years. So there it is. You see? They refused it even unto death. And they're going to be a part of that first dominion when the Lord Yahweh Shah returns, man. So keep that in mind. That yeah, hey, any one of us could be facing that guillotine, but understand and know what awaits after that, man? Rulership with our Lord Yahweh Shah for standing stiffly for his name. But yeah, this thing is coming. Everything is right on time, man. We see all the prophecies, the last handful of prophecies uh, being manifest right before our eyes, just like the most I said, man. This mark of the beast, this, this shit is on the way. It has to come. You see? Hey, so with that, I'm going to end it by giving all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful that I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has created us to do. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba.